Now let's look at what are drawings and how do we record uh, double entries for drawings. So first of all, drawings is an act of withdrawing cash or any other asset from the business by the owners for his or her personal use. So for example, Alex on March the 3rd uh, decides that he's drawing $100 from the business bank account. That means he's taking $100 worth of cash from the business bank account for his own personal use. Similarly, Alex could do the same thing with any other asset also, such as machinery, furniture, inventory, stationery, anything that is of the business, he can take it as his drawings. So let's make a write a transaction over here of drawings to understand the double entry. Before that, that let us understand that we already had a capital account the start of the business correct where we recorded the amount that Alex is giving to the business correct Alex had given eighty thousand dollars worth of cash into the bank account of the business that's why a capital account was credited as it was giving eighty thousand dollars but now when Alex is taking the money away from the business he's drawing money from the business why aren't we using the capital account but creating a separate drawings account. The reason for this is, let's take for example, Alex decides on March the 3rd, he took away $100. Similarly, he decided to do the same type of different transactions, taking away stationery, cash, sometimes furniture, again cash, 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 several times throughout the year. And this adds up to 40 different transactions. So will we keep writing 40 different transactions in the capital account? It will become too messy to understand, correct? That's why to make it much more clear and easy to access the accounts, we create a separate drawings account where all the drawings of the owner that he keeps taking away for any withdrawing that the owner does of cash or assets is recorded under the drawings account. So let's record an entry. Drawings account, what is it uh, doing? It is receiving, correct? Because the owner took away $100. That means the owner is receiving $100, correct? Thus, so is the drawings account. And which is the other account that is losing the $100? The bank account, because the owner, Alex, decided to take $100 from the bank. So let's look at a bank account that is giving away $100 and then at the drawings account, which is receiving $100. So our bank account over here on March the 3rd gives away $100 to the drawings account. So I've credited it with $100 and in details we'll write the drawings account as the drawings account is receiving $100. Similarly in our drawings account we'll go to the debit side, the receiving side and write over there firstly the date which is March 3rd. Then the account which gave the $100, which is the bank account. And over here we'll note $100, which is the amount received. So this is how, uh, how we receive uh, record drawings. Now take for example, owner Alex decided to take away inventory worth $100. So we'll just write over here, instead of bank account, we'll write over here inventory account. Okay. And so having bank account over here, we'll have the inventory account. Now let's take for example that Alex keeps borrowing $100 for all the 12 months of the year. So how much? So we'll have total 12 entries in our drawing account again and again. Correct. They'll add up to $1,200. So that is our total amount of drawings that Alex is doing. Correct. So let's write over here $1,200. That's the total amount of drawings that's taking place. And now at the end of the year, what happens is a drawings account will be closed and that $1,200 worth of drawings account, $1,200 worth of drawings will be shifted to the capital account. Now a capital account over here will be debited because similarly, our drawings account was receiving, so is our capital account receiving, correct? 
So I'll go to my capital account and write over there $1200. This is at the end of the year. So let's write 31st December 2021. What will happen is the capital account will be debited by all the drawings that have taken place throughout the year. So over here I'll write the drawings account and in the amount I'll write $1200. Okay. So this is how a capital account will also be affected by the drawings that take place throughout the year.